When you find yourself stuck, frozen, tired, broken, you can't take another step, you got to think back to everybody before you. I think about World War I, World War II, the Great Depression, Vietnam, people I know that are missing arms, legs. I know folks that had to cut their own fingers off. We see movies where someone had to cut his arm off to get to safety. Like, you need some reference point that is just much, much worse than where you are. And then it puts it in perspective. And you take another five steps, and another five steps after that, right? Because when you're having that pity party in your head, and you can't move forward, there's five million people that have it worse than you. There's 50 million people that have it worse than you. So stop complaining, take a few steps forward, and remember, you have eight days left in you. So I'm in Alaska, it's 30 below, my eyelashes are frozen, and I'm just in a dark place. I'm in a place where I just want water, food, and shelter. I want to go home. I can't believe I put myself out here. And I start playing the tape in my head of how great it would feel if I could just get back home. But there's not an option. There's no option. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I've got 100 miles behind me through waist deep snow. I got 100 miles ahead of me through waist deep snow. I have no option. It's either die right here or continue on. And I'll tell you what, dying feels pretty good right about now. I mean, it sounds ridiculous as you listen to this. But if I go back to that moment, if I go back to any moment where you're broken, mentally, physically, you can't take another step, you're in pain, you're frozen. Literally, I'm frozen got to somehow find something to motivate the next step and the step after that. And if I could just make it, if I could just make it to that snow drift over there, and then I'll figure out what to do after that. Even when you think you can't take another step, even when your, your mouth is dry because you haven't had water, you're eating snow, you're starving, you're burning 14,000 calories a day. You can't take another step. You have eight more days in you. And somehow, I mustered up enough strength to go 100 yards ahead, and 100 yards after that, and another 100 yards, and eight days later, I got to the finish line. We definitely all stop before we have to. We stop because we think we have to. We don't stop because we have to.